guys welcome back to my garden so i have a few things that i need to get done today i need to put out my valentine's day wreath and rug and decorate the area where i'm putting that at but i also have a lot of garden chores that i need to get done the other day i was outside working and i was working by the fountain area just evaluating different things moving stuff here moving stuff there and so i pulled my tarp off of my fountain because it was feeling pretty nice so i took the tarp off just to see if it was any like water in the bottom basin and do you know i continued working forgot that i had pulled off the tarp it started raining so the weather forecast was calling for it to be like in the 40s so i was thinking okay no big deal well unbeknownst to me the temperatures dropped and i came out here and it was literally sheets of ice inside of the fountain so some of the levels have melted down but the main i think it's maybe like the third tier and the fourth tier still have water in it so what i figure i would do is go get the water out of the fountain and of course leaves have blown in there by now clean that up get the fountain covered up well i would have to let it dry for a couple of days and the forecast is calling for it to be pretty dry a little bit on the cold side but dry and then um we'll go ahead and do the rest of the things that we need to get done i also need to pull out a lot of the containers that's in my sunroom because that area is getting overcrowded because i have containers with tulips in there i also have containers that have my soil and are prepped up when I do my early spring plantings. So let's go ahead and get started with the fountain and then we'll move on to the next piece. most of the leaves out of the bottom of the basin now the third layer down looks like it's frozen but then it looks like it's kind of like a small sheet of ice let me show you what i'm talking about because i think i might be able to just like knock on that crack that lift the pieces of the ice out if that's the case baby this ice got to get out of here and i'm getting ready to go ahead and cover up this fountain and i will not be taking it off until well i'm not gonna say that because i probably will go in and take it off if i get anxious like if they're i don't know let me see because what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to go in and clean it like when we have some days of dryness so, so in the springtime all i have to do pull the cover off put the water in because i went in over the fall time and i added a ton of tulips to this area so i don't want to have like a whole bunch of water from cleaning it out too aggressive so i might have to do the fountain in stages hey look at that yes yes that is all oh baby this water about to come up out of here yes all of that can be moved perfect 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 have the majority of the water out i want to head over and get my reef and my rug put out it also gives me the opportunity to check on the japanese maple that i planted out there i have been so worried about this maple it is in a large concrete pot the issue is the fluctuations in the temperature so i just want to make sure that's okay So it's butted up, so I still see some life in it. Focus. Can you see it?
quickly add a lantern and a little uh just a little valentine's day planter to just make it a little bit more festive going to use this planter to make a cute little valentine's day planter and i'm going to show you where i'm going to sit it outside looks like the perfect size i thought about using terracotta or something whitewash but you know what now that i'm thinking about it i'm gonna just go ahead and stick with my first mind because this is actually really cute real quick little just heart arrangement now let's get it inside of the lantern added a bit of moss in that area because even though it was looking cute i felt like it needed just a bit more so i just put one lantern out there and then after the fact i thought about putting two lanterns out there but i was like you know what don't worry about it so i'm getting ready to go in and i'm going to uh, bring those containers outside quick this is going to be an amazing show come spring can you imagine all of these containers with some of them popping up with various types of tulips with various spring flowers just popping out and bursting out of these beautiful terracotta pots now the planters that you see that are half full i left them half full for one purpose only so i would be able to get out here and move these containers by myself I'm very excited and I'm anxiously waiting on pins and needles 
I am definitely not looking forward to the 12 degree temperature that they say we're going to have next week. Let me know down in the comment box if you're going to decorate your outdoor space for Valentine's Day. I love to hear about it. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll be showing you pictures later. Bye-bye.